Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our LinkedIn Live session today on transformation. My name is Sid Mukherjee, and I lead the transformation and knowledge services function at Teleperformance. Today, I have the pleasure of talking to Milan Seth, who's the EVP of the EMEA region at Automation Anywhere, and we'll have a freewheeling chat on intelligent automation. Milan, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, congratulations on your uh, recent partnership announcement with Google Cloud. How does that fit in with where you think the automation industry is headed? So, Sid, thanks. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure joining uh, teleperformance uh, conversations. So you guys are the leading player in the customer interaction space. So, so you know, lots of collaboration going on between our two organizations. Uh, to answer your question, I think uh, you know uh, there are two two big things which are uh, which are changing in the world of automation. Uh, I would say first is the movement to cloud, and and how you can roll out uh, as many of your core and non-core applications on cloud and automate them, because that brings uh, velocity and that brings uh, uh, you know ability to scale uh, scale uh, at a very low cost. Uh, so, so in that context, right. that was the first part. Is in terms of how do you integrate? Because no single software provider can build all the AI uh, elements. And and so as automation anywhere we have quite a few AI capabilities, uh, but how do you integrate multiple other AI capabilities uh, together and and just make sure there's a single stop platform? So in that context, both cloud and AI is where the Google partnership uh, with automation anywhere comes into play, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to cater to a lot many more use cases than what we could do early. Fantastic. Now, most, talk, most, most analysts are talking about hyper-automation. So um, as you scale up the, the penetration of automation across enterprises, um, you know, in the AI-enabled, hyper-automated future, where do you think we'll end up? Is, and is there a role for humans there? No, certainly there's a role for the humans. I think uh, you know, the, uh, we've been defining, uh, here who's a founder and CEO of uh, Automation Anywhere, has very nicely coined it a few years back. That it's human augmentation, right? And uh, it's augmenting the human power versus necessarily replacing uh, the human power. Uh, clearly, uh, in a lot of processes, uh, you would have less and less intervention by uh, human workforce, and the bots can do uh, a, a work. And then you will also have situations where a human will do many of the customer interactions, uh, the servicing, and so on, where bots will play a, a probably a secondary role. Uh, uh, where uh, it will just accelerate the servicing per se. So there is clearly a role uh, per se. And I think, said the truth is that the contextualization of AI is is a is a is a journey, right? Uh, you will start doing it on few processes, then you'll go to across industries, and it will slowly begin. So uh, there is definitely a role. I mean, if I may answer your fundamental question, there is a role, and it's just working together and getting used to that working together is a real uh, a real change if you're gonna. Yeah, and we're seeing increasingly, uh, you know, all RPA uh, product companies like yourselves are embedding more and more AI into your product suite as well. So there are investments happening at the front end in terms of process discovery, and of course we've had always had things like uh, OCR, machine learning, etc., uh, trying to make the accuracy of um, of the engines, um, you know, of the automation solutions uh, higher and higher. So, uh, where it, do you think is this uh, is this leading us uh, in the future? Uh, you know, will automation, will RPA products be more equipped to handle more complex kind of transactions? Because in, in the initial phase, it was more about repetitive, mundane transactional activities being automated. Um, as we uh, as our products are evolving, do you see uh, you know more complex transactions also uh, being automated? I would say uh, I would say partially yes, uh, because you know the the human context, the understanding, the nuances is something which probably cannot be will not be completely taken away. Uh, but definitely, wherever there's an underlying uh, underlying science or a pattern behind uh, a set of processes, uh, you will see you will see not just RPA because you know as you know someone like our company has evolved from RPA to. Uh, a lot of other capabilities being added, and same is happening with uh, you know the entire industry per se. Uh, so you will have a combination of tools coming in. Also, players like teleperformance. I think you will add what I think uh, a domain layer on top of our platform. I think the 
the entire platform can become only powerful set that when teleperformance with his industry knowledge or with his process knowledge uh, is able to start building on top of our platform and kind of solutionize it and that's where the real benefit will start accruing looking at the complex or moderately complex uh, uh, processes uh, to get automated yeah absolutely and and we are seeing already uh, you know in the industry um across all the domains from front to back that that we serve our clients on uh, there is a higher degree and a higher penetration of automation that's uh, you know that's definitely happening um so so from a from a cx point of view because that still is bread and butter for teleperformance uh you know where do you think um you know uh, the the role of rpa or intelligent automation comes in and um, you know what's the you know how can um, automation really help drive um, excellent customer service so said i'll talk about uh, you know what some of the peers and i would love to learn about your journey as well uh, in teleperformance but but just briefly to answer my side uh, there are two two or three themes which have emerged in the cx side uh, one is uh, one is the ability to uh, uh, service your customers uh, anywhere and giving them uh, you know multi generational platform uh, uh, you know they can they can engage with you from any platform and then and i think all of uh, all these tech players have been trying to move in that direction and that's where the automation uh, plays a good connecting bridge uh, so to say uh, the second uh, theme is is in terms of uh, how how does the uh, associate spend as much time and leave the pre call post call or a pre event post event uh, to bots to populate record to classify uh, kind of activity team uh, which we see in this tx uh, side is is a very strong integration with voice uh, uh, and cloud voice platforms so your voice your cloud and then your automation all three coming together uh, uh, gives a very very good uh, end user uh, experience uh, and and there's lots of collaborations going on between companies like us but i'm sure that you've been working in that direction said probably do you agree with what i said or or is it is it uh, something beyond this as well no i think 100% uh, you know there are many other sort of use cases also in fact uh, one of the more common ones that we see um, you know and and starting with the problem statement here uh, you know we we think of our our agents as as customer success specialists right so we try and give them the best of uh, technology to to help them equip to equip them with um, uh, you know the right platform and um, the right information so that they are able to serve and, and wow our customers every time and one of the most common challenges they face is having to toggle multiple applications on the desktop when uh, responding to customer queries which ends up taking time and results in human errors as well so that's a classic case for rpa enabled screen unification and in the most recent uh, implementation that we did for a bank in latam using automation anywhere we managed to crunch ht by average handling times by 30% and reduce human errors by 60%. So it is a great use case of uh, automation driving up human productivity. Um and and you know the other theme is the the uh, convergence of different forms of automation that we are seeing in CX, right? Um of course chatbots but now increasingly more voice bots, email bots, messaging bots. um and we are starting to you know mix and match these different solutions so that you know we can almost um, automate end to end uh, use cases as well so uh, for a retailer in europe we had a situation where because of covid there were huge spikes in call volumes and we figured that uh, nearly a third of them were really non value adding calls these are order cancellations uh, which did not need to be serviced by a human agent and um, you know unfortunately because the volumes were four or five times uh you know many of these calls were getting missed so in order to meet our sla's what we ended up doing was deflecting we used our own voice to messaging solution uh to effectively deflect these calls to whatsapp therein we configured a digital assistant within whatsapp uh, to get the customer email id and the order number uh and then triggered an rpa bot uh to automatically go into the crm system and cancel the order and send a confirmation uh, to the customer So that was a great example of how uh, you know automation can also help manage spikes in uh, human workload and, and there are many more use cases like you know the ones you mentioned where you know uh, automation can help with uh, post call processing activities etc so yeah uh, the in a sense what what i think both of us are trying to say 
is that you know automation is here to help we need to just blend that high tech with the high touch uh, we need to free up humans uh, you know so that they can focus more on uh, greater value addition while the repetitive mundane tasks can be done by bots so that brings me to um, you know uh, my my last question really milan um, you know we've seen of course covid 19 really forcing companies to go digital in a big way uh, so how can companies start to really accelerate this uh, digital transformation and what kind of skill sets should they be investing in yeah i think uh, the the best way to accelerate uh, uh, any technology is is a uh, you know remove the friction of adoption and uh, the the friction of adoption can be uh, you know instead of leaving it to a certain part of the business how do you kind of make it uh, make it available uh, to a larger front office mid office or a back office users and and make them aware so that's the first step the second step uh, i think purely from a skill point of view uh, is is that that many of our platforms are very very business user centric without compromising on the development uh you know so there is a clear division between a center of excellence which which de- delivers and builds all of this and then the user uses it so the 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 quicker organization is able to get that governance right that there are a bunch of people who will build it build it for scale build it for you know with the right security privacy etc and then there are users which quickly adopt it uh, on on operation so those are the two big factors i would say uh where the acceleration can happen and i think to your point post pandemic when the speed of delivery uh, rois uh, are are so crucial for almost all businesses uh, i think automation could be that one of those solutions it's not the only solution and then you add cloud on top of it uh, which also reduces your uh, overall cost of ownership yeah no absolutely i think um, even at tp we believe that fundamental that we have the right skill sets on board to drive this transformation both for ourselves as well as for our clients and that's the reason we've been investing over the last couple of years very heavily in uh, tap t for technology a for analytics and t for process excellence because it's the it's really the coming together of those three domains um, you know that is absolutely critical to driving this uh, transformation so on, on the technology front it's um, you know rpa skill sets in automation anywhere in machine learning etc digital assistants uh in analytics it's um, it's both cx analytics as well as data analytics and it's in in process excellence it's things like customer journey mapping design thinking lean six sigma etc um in fact we did a a botathon recently with the help of automation anywhere and and thank you for your support there milan um it was a really wonderful exercise for us we involved some 15 countries we employed we involved more than 1000 colleagues across uh, 15 of our largest regions and we empowered them with the skill sets we you know with your help we trained them on automation anywhere and they were capable and they developed uh, you know they identified automation opportunities and they built the bots themselves so it was a great learning experience for a lot of our employees they feel a lot more confident that uh, you know they can build these automations themselves and they have started to see the value also because uh, you know in the past we've had people being threatened by automation and you know feeling insecure about their their careers but now people really understand the value proposition is not uh, you know elimination of uh, of human activity it's more you know augmentation like you were saying earlier uh, it's how can automation really help us and uh, allow us to focus on value addition okay thank you uh, milan you know we are uh, at the end of our time thank you so much for uh, joining me for the chat today and any final messages uh, for our uh, listeners from you So I think, uh, as I said in the very beginning, uh, uh, you know, two big trends where the industry is heading: uh, cloud, uh, you know, use use cloud to deliver, accelerate, scale fastest way, and second, uh, you know, uh, leverage the entire AI ecosystem, particularly what we are doing with uh, Salesforce and Google. Uh, so, so you know, I think those are those are the best way uh, your your acceleration can happen uh, with a faster ROI and faster results. Absolutely. Thank you so much again uh, Milan and uh, thanks also to our audience who've been patiently listening I hope it's been worth your time at TP we constantly try to bring some of our best thought leaders on transformation on the LinkedIn live forum so if there's any specific topics you want us to explore in future then drop in a, drop in a line in the comments below and we'll include it in our future sessions thank you and goodbye for now thank you bye bye